Absolutely. I'm hoping y'all got the last two scriptures. I will read them again in case that the connection dropped off. When you go to Ephesians chapter 5, verse 3, it reads, But fornication and all uncleanliness or covetousness, let it be once named among you as become of saints. Let that thing be a thing of the past. Let those sex toys and that idolatry and that fornication, let that be something of the past. Let that be something that you let go, that you overcome, right? That's what the scriptures is telling you. Don't continue to utilize these things. Colossians chapter three, verse five reads, mortify therefore your members, which are upon the earth, fornication, uncleanliness, inordinate affections, evil concupiscence, and covetousness, which is idolatry. See, you got to mortify your members, meaning, listen, you got to shield and protect your body parts from these, these attacks that Satan got lined up, these, these instruments. You're supposed to mortify yourself. When your homegirls is having y'all little talks and y'all, you know, having y'all little wine and cheese, wine and cracker dinners, and y'all talking sex, because a lot of women talk sex a whole lot, brothers. Better believe they talk about it a lot. When you're talking about these things and you got a sister that want to throw one of these little gadgets or gadgets at you, you're supposed to mortify yourself. You're supposed to be disgusted by that. Like, nah, uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. That ain't something that I want to deal with. That ain't something that I want to get involved with. The scriptures tell me that I'm supposed to mortify my members, and that right there is idolatry. I'm not no idolater. I'm going to do what I got to do to get a man. And if I got all this sexual energy, I'm going to try to transmute that energy. I can use this energy, go to the gym. I can use this energy to do things that I want to do in life, opposed to going out here and damaging my body. Somebody says the rose is external use only. If you're going to judge women for this, then judge men too. Men use their hand for sake to pump. Ha, ha, ha. How many people in this live stream heard me say that this goes for men, too, who have sex dolls, masturbation and so on and so forth? Not only that, I'm not judging you. The most high God is judging you. Did you not hear what? The, let me play this again. Did you not hear what this sister said about the toy? So it's judging me, warning you what these instruments can do. Did you not hear what this sister said this toy did to her? But I'm judging. See, that's a person right there that's still going to be out here looking and flicking their wrists. That's a person out there, no matter what you say, they're going to cram something up their vagina, no matter what. All they're going to do is divert, no matter what. You're judging people. No, I'm warning people. Let's play this again. Good morning, everyone. Um, something been brought to my attention that I have to let you guys know about. It's very important. So this is a PSA. Please turn your phone up. Please listen to me, ladies. If you want to have more children, you need to stop and listen to this right now. I went to my OBGYN the other day. She told me my egg count was low. And for me to be so young, she inquired, like, she really wanted to know why. So as she started asking me, um, have I been having sex a lot? Have I been exposed to radiation? I'm like, no, no. I have not been having sex. I haven't been exposed to radiation. She's like, what about EMF? And what is EMF? That's an electromagnetic field. Like, you know, so this rose released EMF and it causes harm to your uterus, your reproductive system. My egg count is low because of this rose. Wow. And by some miracle, if she manages to, by some miracle, if she manages to have a child, you never know what that radiation could have done to her actual eggs at the miracle that she bring forth life we're talking about do you know what radiation does ladies and gentlemen look at here look at hiroshima when the, the bombs were dropped over japan you still to this day have babies born with elephant titus you still have babies born with five eyeballs on their face you still have babies born with gig gigantism and all kind of problems and all kind of cancers and tumors on their bodies. So uh, by some miracle, by some miracle that this woman bring forth life, 
Do you know that her 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 seed, her offspring could be tarnished? Do you know how do you know how serious this is? Do you see how young this young lady is? Do you see how pretty she is? She's pretty. As beautiful as this young lady is, she her her egg count is low, which means she's going to become of no earthly good. As a woman, she won't even be able to bring forth life at a young age. And you still and people still talking about somebody's judging. No, you're a pervert. And no matter what, you're going to stick these objects up in you. No matter what, you still go continue to do the unthinkable in the heat of the night. I mean, this is getting real. These people don't want to see us living. These melanated people out here, listen, people of our bloodline, they don't want to see us bringing forth life. They don't want to see us breeding out here. They don't want to see us bringing nice little babies to, into the world and that's healthy, safe, and strong. They don't want to see families stick together. They want to zap your womb from the inside out. You should take that very serious. Talking about somebody judging you. If you feel convicted, stop what you're doing. If you feel convicted, stop it. Yep, somebody said they ain't trying to stop. They not. Because it's a demonic stronghold on a lot of these sisters. It's a demonic stronghold. And it's on these brothers as well. You got brothers out here who they're pretty much married to the succubus. You got a lot of men who are becoming incels. Men going their own way and they've been relegated to masturbation and porn. Yeah, your body is a temple. We got to keep it pure and clean. And, you know, this is just one. This stream right here is one of two. We're going live later on. I have another lesson tonight. We're going to have our Sabbath lesson. This is just a warm up for the day. So I want everybody to turn their post notifications on as this, this stream ends. And I want you all to catch tonight's stream. We got a, a very interesting topic. We got a very, very interesting topic this evening. So I don't know if this video will be allowed to stay here on YouTube. Hopefully it does. If it gets deemed unsuitable or anything like that, ladies and gentlemen, you know where to find me. Um, my Patreon is right there on the on the page, patreon.com backslash newbury, where I can get raw and uncut, right? I like to thank everybody for joining. Man, we got more content coming. So everybody, turn your notifications on. I'm expecting everybody to catch uh, the, the live later on. So with that being